Goldman Quantifiable Leukemia Conference, and this time it's a virtual conference. Uh, it is uh, different for all of us. Uh, it is special for some of us, and it's special for me because of this email which I received uh, sometimes in June. Uh, so permit me to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Hemant Malhotra. I'm a medical oncologist at Jaipur in India. And this email really excited me when the conference chair, Dr. Cortez, invited me to uh, you know, chair the session and present the John Goldman Prize. Uh, I'm really thankful for this. It's a huge privilege for me to be able to do this. What I'm going to do in the next 10 minutes is tell you about the Goldman Prize, uh, give you a snapshot of the past winners of the Goldman Prize, uh, present to you the 2020 winner of the prize, introduce the 2020 winner of the prize to you, and then invite the winner of the 2020 prize for the John Goldman Award Lecture. So this is John Goldman, uh, a very dear friend of mine, a uh, very dear friend of my country, India. Uh, he's been to India when he was alive several times. Uh, he's been to Jaipur, my city, many times, and he's been to my house at least three times for dinner. So uh, the, the Goldman Prize named after John Goldman is the equivalent of the Rowley Prize, and it recognizes lifetime contribution to the management of patients with CML. The award has been created in the memory of uh, late ICMLF chair, John Goldman, uh, to honor his commitment to clinical excellence in treating CML. Uh, and most of you know that John was an outstanding scientist with a worldwide recognition and a leading figure in CML research. And during his 40 year old career, he significantly contributed to the understanding of the biology and shaping of the treatment of CML. And John was also the co-founder and the first chair of the International CML Foundation. So a snapshot of the past winners of the John Goldman Prize, uh, the 2014 and the first prize was given to Professor Rudy Hellman, the 2015 prize to Professor Micheli Makirani, uh, the 2016 prize to Professor Hegop Kantarijian of the MD Anderson Cancer Center, 2017 prize to Professor Tim Hughes, Adelaide, Australia. 2018 prize to Professor Jorge Cortes, MD Anderson at that time. And the last year's prize, 2019, to Professor uh, Francosis Xavier Smehon. And this was given in the beautiful city of Bordeaux last meeting. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, the winner of the 2020 Goldman Prize, I will tell you in a minute, uh, there are several things which are not right with this conference. We're not able to see each other. We're not able to see the warmth. We are not able to go to the beautiful beaches of the French Riviera. But there's something which is nice in this conference, and that is the selection of the winner of the 2020 Goldman Prize. And I'm very happy and very proud to tell you that the winner is Professor Jane Apperley. And Dr. Jane Apperley is not a winner to prizes. She's won a whole bunch of awards in her, uh, in her life. And uh, this is the reason why Jane has been given the Goldman Prize for 2020. She receives the prize in recognition of her exceptional contribution to clinical academics and her many years of expertise in CML, uh, blood and bone marrow transplantation. And I like to quote uh, Professor Jorge Cortes. Jane has been one of the leaders in CML research for many years. She has helped us not only develop better therapies for patients with CML, but with thorough, thoughtful and innovative research and analysis, understand the best ways to manage patients, incorporating all the known variables and even help us think of new variables that may play a role in the management. She has always been a critical uh, balanced view of the data and performed innovative and groundbreaking research. Jane and her group have been leaders in CML research for many years and her contributions make her a very deserving recipient of this prize. And even more befitting, uh, Jane and John uh, the prize which she is getting. Uh, they have worked together and been associated at the Hammersmith in London for several years. 
and this is the citation which Jane will receive, uh, like the the uh, recognition of the Hammersmith Hospital and the group which Jane heads, uh, her long-standing interest in uh, uh, fertility, pregnancy, fetal outcomes. Uh, this is the citation which we will give to Jane. I'd like to also introduce Jane to you uh, in a little more details. Uh, currently, she is chair of Center of Hematology and professor of hematology oncology at the Imperial College London. She is clinical director, clinical hematology, Imperial College Healthcare NHS Trust in London. Her qualifications, she, she did her undergraduate medical degree from Birmingham in 1979. Uh, she was a member of the Royal College of Physicians soon after. She submitted her thesis in 1988. Uh, she was uh, elected as Royal Co member of Royal College of Pathologists in 1991. She went on to do, do, do her uh, JCH MD accreditation and certification uh, specialist training in 1991. She became the fellow of the Royal College of Physicians 95, Royal College of Pathologists 1999, uh, NIHR Senior Investigation 2012, and fellow of the very prestigious Academy of Medical Sciences 2017. She is won a whole bunch of uh, prizes and scholarships, uh, just to list a few important ones. Uh, during her uh, uh, undergraduate course at the Birmingham Medical School, she had mm -hmm. honors in anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, pharmacology, and social medicine. And ladies and gentlemen, you will agree with me that somebody who can get an honors in preventive and social medicine really has to be special. <laughs> She's uh, received the uh, uh, Sand Cox uh, uh, Fellowship and some other awards. This is the Hammersmith Hospital where Jane has spent most of her life. Uh, she's been associated with the ICMLF for several, several years, one of the founding members and some other snapshots of Jane. Uh, this is uh, the, the one and only photo which I could find of John and Jane, which I think was given, this uh, prize was given to John uh, when he retired from the Hammersmith Hospital. Uh, these are some snapshots of some top CML functionaries in the field with Jane. And thanks to Junia, Junia Mello for uh, uh, these pictures. Uh, a snapshot of Jane's family, uh, a beautiful young lady, uh, Philippi, as she calls her Pipa. Uh, she's the daughter and uh, Jane's son. James and I'm sure he will thank Jane for the genes she, which she gave him uh, for the for his crowning glory, rather than uh, Mr. Apperly, and uh, you know, lovely family. And before I invite Jane to give her talk, I'd like to also tell you that this is a poignant moment for me. Exactly ten years back, uh, first week of October 2010, I was there at the Hammersmith Hospital as a perceptor sent there by the International Chronic Myeloid Leukemia Foundation. I spent one full month with Jane and her team. I got to know her, understand her, a very strict uh, chief of department, but with a wonderful, typical British sense of humor. And I'm sure you will get a glimpse of this humor in the talk she's going to give us. She's chosen a very nice topic, CML and me, reflections on the roadmap to cure also like to tell everybody who's listening to this that you can either you know raise your hand and ask a question or post it on our chat box and we'll try in the last 10 minutes to take as many questions as we can so ladies and gentlemen i now give you the 2020 winner of the john goldman prize for the john goldman lecture professor jane apparently 